Okay, so the document, though it's been uh, edited a lot of ways, the document still has this sort of grayed out and kind of pink looking um, quality to the paper. So I want to do some levels adjustments, but instead of just eyeballing it, um, I'm guessing that there are parts of this that are a little lighter than others. So I'm going to use threshold to figure out where my lightest light is and then level. So I'm going to do image adjustments, threshold, and it's going to turn everything into black and white. Just going to crank this down all the way to the right so everything's dark and then slowly crank it back and start seeing where my brightest lights are. Now it starts to emerge when you get about to here where your zones of brightest light are. Um, they're you know ending up being on the sides instead of up on the top. I'll crank just a little bit more. So I think that I could rely on what's happening right in the center over here. Slide this over, uh, sort of maybe a twenty and a half there. So I could rely on what's happening in the center here to determine my lightest light. Now threshold's not something I'm doing permanently. I'm just going to hit cancel. So I know that right in that zone is what I'm using. And now that I know that, I can kind of see that's lighter than that. Okay, so then we're going to go to image adjustments, levels. And though I could be adjusting, redistributing by hand, I'm going to use this white eyedropper and say I want to consider this to be white and redistribute everything to go. Now see how everything went kind of blue? So things can get a little off with your color on these and so I usually just click around in the zone where I think I need to be, where I think my brightest light is, until I get, and I've sort of overdone it here, but until I get something that is reading as more of a neutral rather than a color. So, read. so that's reading as a neutral white to me. Um, if anything, it has a little bit of heat in it, but it's not looking like a, like a cast of color. So um, that brightened up my lights and sort of redistributed everything with it. I'm going to say OK. And then I use my eyedropper tool to just click around and look and see what I'm dealing with here. I'm dealing with something that's pretty much white right up there. And if I click here, it looks like there's a little bit more color in this. You can see it's lower than the corner. It does have a little bit of a pink cast. It has a lot of magenta in it. Um, perfect. It's a little yellower, but really close to white. Let's see what this is. That's very pink. Okay. So I have two things left that I might do to fine tune this, and they all are in this little family. I might spotlight in things that are still looking a little hazy, a little dark, darker in value. And then I also might use this sponge tool to strip the color away. It's something that either saturates or desaturates. I'm going to start with that. So with the sponge tool, I basically want to strip away anything that's reading like pink or yellow rather than white. So I've got the sponge. I have it up here set to desaturate, which is not the default, so double check that. Um, the flow, 50%, sure, that sounds good. And I want a nice big brush, um, which I can change right up in here. And I don't want to sweep over the artwork because I don't want to strip it of color and make it gray. I do want to just uh, sweep over the border. And I can do my command minus and back this up a little bit. Sweep over the border. And if it's white, it doesn't, I mean, if it's perfectly white and has no color, then desaturating it is not going to affect it in the least. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'll just um, click and double check what I'm dealing with now. It's so close now, like not over 3% on anything that um, I'm not even going to lighten anything now. Though if there were anything still kind of dark, I might use my spot lightening a bit. So I'll save it and go.